In this video, I show you how to switch and change your Apple ID without losing any data on your device. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. You may want to go and change the Apple ID you use on your phone, but you're worried that you're gonna lose all the information that you have stored in iCloud and your phone. Well, don't worry, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know. So firstly, what you'll need to do is go and open up the settings app, just like so. Go right to the top of the settings app, like so, where it says your name, and just below that, it says Apple ID, iCloud, Media, and Purchases, so tap here. Then what you need to do is go and tap on iCloud, like so. And then what you need to do is go down to apps using iCloud, and you can click on show all. So here is all the apps which go and sort of sync and use iCloud. Just to show you how this will work, as you can see, I don't have everything enabled. I've got contacts enabled, reminders. I don't actually have photos enabled. As you can see, I don't sync. So yeah, once you go and note a few examples there, then all you need to do is go back out of here and just go back to this Apple ID page here and scroll to the bottom. Then what you need to do is go and tap on sign out. Don't worry, you aren't immediately going to be signed out. There's a bit of a process, so tap here. Then as you can see, you may need to go and enter uh, a password because you're turning off Find My iPhone, but then you'll be taken to this page here, which says keep a copy of your data on this iPhone. So as you can see, you can actually choose the data you want to go and keep a copy of. So I could go and choose to have uh, my contacts, health, keychain, and stocks. And if I also went and synced photos, then photos would be added here. Just to explain what I've gone and done, because I've gone and enabled keep a copy of, this means I'm gonna keep a copy of all my contacts, my health, keychain, and stocks. And you may have a longer or shorter list depending on how much stuff you sync with iCloud. As I said before, if I did sync uh, photos to iCloud, then they'd also be shown here. So then once they're enabled, literally go and press sign out. And then what's gonna happen is it's gonna go and take a moment as it copies the iCloud data, and then it's all gonna be stored on your phone. So essentially your phone's just downloading it all from iCloud, so it will take a minute or two, depending on how much stuff there is. And as you can see, I've now gotten signed out, but if I go into my contacts, they're all still going to be there. And so that's it, guys. If you found this useful, then please consider leaving a like. Peace.